as you can see, there is a lot of big changes. Got the walls up, obviously cut out, put up. Now we're kind of framing them in just temporarily. I'm going to show you what I did and show you just a few of the things that uh, sometimes people forget, but they have to be done, and I'll tell you why. Coming in from the front, you can see that's just holding that in there. You can see the walls. We put up three sheets, well, two and a half sheets on each side, around the back. See, that floor looks great. Now we come around to the side here, and on each of these seams, you're probably asking yourself, well, what, what are those metal things? Well, it, it goes, they go on the seam, and you can see there's one more in the front. I'm, I'm missing one, so I saved one just to kind of show you. So I saved this one for you just to show you what it is. Now these uh, steel plates, they got a bunch of screw holes in them. And uh, this is a little over a half inch plywood. That's what they came from, the original. And so I'm going to go ahead and use a half inch screw so that I don't go through to the other side because my dinette is, uh, seats are right here. So what I want to do is put these where you can see like right here. If you can kind of see that right here, it's not flushed up. It is down at the bottom where it's screwed in. It is up here where I've got this other one. But So let me put this in right here. And I think you'll see it's going to suck it right up. It's already doing a great job. Let's get this other side on. Look at that. That is flush. That is flush. It'll be flush on the inside. We can add a little trim if we need to. I'll probably add a couple more screws as I go along once I start getting everything uh, flushed in. As you can see in the front here, we, uh, we started putting on the front wall, and which turns into the roof. Uh, we got the first two eight-foot sections in. There will be a cutout for the window, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We'll get there. Plus, I don't know if I made a mistake or not. I think I may have. When these came from the factory... The, the roof was super thin, super, super thin. You know, I thought when I dug into it, it might be quarter inch, but it's not. So it was even thinner than that. And I went to the uh, big box store, the hardware store, and I looked at that stuff and I just didn't feel comfortable with it. I was like, man, that is, that is so not what I would use, but I'm not going to use quarter inch because that's just too tight. So I got right in between that and um it does not want to bend i am telling you i had to have russ put the camera down and come in there and for 30 minutes all his might pulling it pulling it screwing it screwing it every inch just to lay it down and i i don't know i mean it's it's super sturdy but i don't know if it's really gonna match up and work out but I'm gonna let it sit for overnight at least and if it just kind of finds its way then I'm gonna go ahead and let it live there but if it doesn't I'm gonna pull it apart and I'm gonna go get what came from the factory because I guess you know if it was good enough for the factory and it lasted 30 years 40 years uh, 50 years whatever it is um, I guess that's good enough so I'll try to be a little tougher with it because I wanted it strong, 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 but that may not be what we need to do. Uh, and I'm trying a little trick that I'll show you a little bit later. Kind of got it a little bit anchored. I'm going to finish this side up, get it anchored down. As you can see, this one is not fighting me at all. So uh, that makes me very pleased. So I'm not going to spend near the amount of time that I spent on the others. So I'm just going to make sure that these get popped in real good. 
And then I can start tying in to the other side. And I think once I do, oh, totally missed that one. Hate it when that happens. But it happens, so we're going to readjust right here. There we go. That tightened that one right up. I'm going to get one over here on the end and kind of get that tail down and see if uh, things look good from there. There we go. So, got that tied in. That's going to be pretty smooth right here. This is going to be a, the part that I showed you a few episodes back where everything always leaks on these seams and tears everything up. So I, that's why I'm being very careful on this one. This one, really, I'm going to get the seams in. I'm going to get the uh, one by threes, by three and a half, whatever they are. Get those put on. Get that butyl tape on there real strong. And uh, we're going to, I've decided that we're going to reuse our vent. So we'll have to cut a hole for the vent. You know, uh, roofers, they always get so mad at people. They're like, the idea of a roof is not to have a hole in it. Why are you cutting a hole in the roof? Well, because people want the vent. They want the ventilation. Heat rises. It goes out. So we're just going to have to fight about it, me and the roofers, because I'm going to put that vent in there. We've got the biggest portion of the roof in today. And uh, I told you I was going to show you one of the tricks that I was going to work on. So uh, remember, we've got to get, it's really starting to curve off that back. So what I did was I took two more sheets and I started to ratchet strap them down. And about every hour for the next couple of hours, I'm just going to tick one more on it. Like, oh, that's so tight. That's not going to happen. This one. Woo, you hear that? But I got one more tick on it, and every time I get a tick, it'll curve it up. And if I leave this sit here overnight, I think I'm going to already have a lot of the bend in it. And the bend is where we're having our trouble. I don't, I don't want to uh, break the wood, and I don't want to make the wood weaker, because then that would defeat the purpose of getting the thicker wood. So uh, once I get the roof on... I'll have to obviously cut, a, cut the hole for the door so that I can get in. And that's when I'll start the part that I like the best. The part I like the best is recreating the cabinets, recreating uh, the dinettes, and uh, putting down the formica and uh, the flooring. I'll have to go get the flooring. I think I'm going to just use a big sheet vinyl and see what I can find that uh, either looks just kind of like wood or uh, looks... Uh, maybe vintage. I just got to see what they have. There's a real nice store over uh, by us that has that. So I'm really excited to get this on and finished, get that door cut out, and do the part that I really, really enjoy because uh, bending this plywood for the ceiling, that ain't it, I promise you. So get ready for the next episode. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and keep the comments coming. Let me know what you like. Um, I, somebody keeps hitting the thumbs down button. I don't know who that guy is, but uh, I guess at least uh, you're engaged. But give me a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next week.